Let me share a recent travel experience with you. It traveled within Nigeria that I found interesting. Here's a recap of my exciting train ride from Lagos to Ibadan. I left my house early to beat traffic from my side of town. And that was wise because I got into the station at just about 6.30 a.m. as the daylight uh, set in. Though I had heard and read a bit about the Mobolaji Johnson station in Yaba, my takeoff point, honestly, I was thrilled by the beauty and the magnificence of the structure and the train station from outside. And as I drove in, I slowed down towards the entrance, just marveling at the sheer size and the beauty from outside. Needless to say, I was looking forward to an exciting trip. And there I was, so excited. I love travel, I love adventure. And with the COVID lockdowns and all of that, I'd had little of that in recent times. So this was a journey I was looking forward to with a lot of excitement, because I love to see the countryside. And lots of memories, train rides for me from my early days. In school, going from Kano to Lagos and back, while we lived in Kano and I was schooling in Lagos. So it was with nostalgic feelings that I looked forward as I entered Mobolaji Johnson train station. Was the journey all smooth? Sadly, no. I was shocked, for example, to find out that tickets are sold only for cash and only on the day of travel. I expect and hope that would change down the line. So I got into the lounge pretty spacious and comfortable. So, with my usual creative, crazy sense, I just saw lots of picture moments here. And I took advantage of that, taking a few pictures before the train was called to board. <laughs> oh yes, it's boarding time now. And the platforms were so smooth. You know, it just felt like I was out of Nigeria. And I felt pretty proud as it is because uh, just watching people walk as I also took my bag and slung over my shoulders and just walked through to board the train. It was really nice feeling. More than looking, and here I was, sat down conveniently. As soon as I sat down, I experienced my second inconvenience of my exciting trip, as it were. I was pretty hot and sweating. And soon after the windows were open, the air conditioning wasn't working. But thankfully, a lot of people in my cabin who had been on this route about nine, ten times said this was extremely unusual. Thankfully, an announcement came through the airwaves soon after that to say there was some technical hitch. And we had a 15 minutes delay. And here, the hitch was that we would be changing engines for the air conditioning at the next stop. So we took off. 15 minutes delay, 8.15 a.m. Not too bad if you ask me. So we took off and it was really exciting as the train pulled out of Mobolaji Johnson Station, Yaba, Lagos. And I looked forward to my uh, reported two hour, 40 minutes journey from Lagos to Ibadan. At the moment, there are only two trips, 8 a.m and 4 p.m. out of Lagos and Ibadan on weekdays. And on weekends, 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. out of Lagos and Ibadan. Uh, I'm told that eventually there will be 16 trips between Lagos and Ibadan. And the size of the station actually confirms that. It was a lovely view just watching the usual Lagos bus stops and traffic and vehicles as we drove through uh, passing Osho, the, the airport uh, road and seeing the yellow cabs and all of that from a seemingly elevated position in the train. And like I said, for me, brought a lot of memories from my childhood secondary school days uh, as I experienced this. Uh, and it, it's really an interesting trip. And within an hour after we left the Mobolaji Johnson station at Yaba, Lagos, we arrived at Fumilayo Ransom Kuti station at Papalan to, to change the engine. And this was about 9.18 a.m. 
in just about 10 minutes, the engine was changed and we're taking off from Fumilera and some Kuti station, going to the next station, which is a normal stop. I was pleasantly delighted as the air conditioning kicked in and pretty good and extremely cold within 15 minutes. Such that passengers again in my cabin began to beg for the AC to be reduced. Well, those that had some, some additional clothing around them, put those on. And then the pleasant journey got more exciting and interesting just as we left the Ransom Kuti station at Papalanto. You see, I love nature and this view was so soothing for me. Ah. But before I could savor enough of it, we were already pulling into Professor Wale Shoyinka Station in Abeokuta. Time was about 9.45 a.m. So we were already in Abeokuta at 9.45 a.m. Having left Lagos at about 8.15 a.m. This is beautiful. And all through the journey, I saw lots of stations being built. This is the Wale Shoyinka Station in Abeokuta, for example. Large and all well designed and built. I'm looking forward to a lot of travels through the train, especially as this begins to go all over Nigeria. And since the next station, the next stop would be my final stop, I decided to take a, a tour of the train. I left my cabin and was presently pleased at this uh, water closet and bathroom setting. You know, pretty decent looking spaces and you know, functional. And yes, I just hope and pray this remains this that way. I checked out the toilet as well and I also used it. Very clean. See you there handy, water flowing, you know, very decently done and I felt so happy and proud. Yes, till you roll there and service the water closet, everything functioning pretty well. Wow. Then I walked around even further and there's this space that I found quite interesting. So you could uh, just chat and have a little conversation or network with friends there. And then there's this closet, this corner here, which I also uh, patronized and used. You know, there's a water closet there no food or beverage sold currently, so cold water or hot water and a microwave oven. You could warm your food if you carry one on board before the sale starts. We passed through several other stations still being built. Egbeda Station, Omiado Station, and all looking pretty decent and pleasant. You know, it just was unbelievable that all of this already is imagined and I, I had no clue, but I'm so glad I took this journey, you know. And lots of rail tracks as it is, obviously confirming the 16 trips and several other trips that are imminent and will be happening uh, pretty soon down the line. I sat down, sipped my coffee in my cabin, you know, just enjoying the view. Really beautiful, uh, you know. This is it for me. This is it for me and I, I just pray for my country Nigeria that we can have peace reign all over and we can all begin to believe again. I am an incurable optimist, you know, and, and things like this just delight me and I'm so glad I took this Lagos Ibadan train ride. And before you know it, we were already pulling into my final stop, Chief Obafemi Awolowo Station at Monia in Ibadan. And what's more, we arrived in Badon at 10.30 a.m. So the trip from Mobalaji Johnson Station in Yaba, Lagos to Chief Obafemi Awolowo Station in Monia, Badon took 2 hours 15 minutes by train. That was just so, so, so beautiful. 2 hours 15 minutes. And they took off 8.15 and I'm told prior to this experience that I had, which is said to be unusual from several other people in my cabin, the trains take off 
on the dot of eight from Lagos or Ibadan, uh, or 4 p.m., depending on which route you took. Oh, yes, and here's a thumbs up. Lovely ride and strongly recommended. Oh, I've enjoyed myself and what a trip. Two hours, 15 minutes of great pleasure. Ibadan Station, the Chief Obafemi Aolo Station, and Monia Ibadan. And that's the end of my train ride from Lagos to Ibadan. Drop your comments. I'd like to hear from you what you think of this experience. Thank you.